A World War II veteran who has marched in Perth's Anzac Parade for decades is urging all of us to mark the day outside our homes. The digger is heartbroken that ceremonies have been cancelled for the first time in 78 years, but he'll be lighting a candle in his daughter's driveway at dawn. World War II veteran Max Lunt is determined to remember. The 95-year-old knows this year's Anzac commemorations won't hold a candle to his usual march, but in the age of coronavirus, he says our traditions are now more important than ever. I won't be able to march with me much. And, uh, it's going to be very sad for me, really. For 33 years, he's marched alongside his fellow diggers every Anzac Day. The Borneo veteran walks an hour a day to and from Pilates to be fit enough to take part in the parade for the diggers who can't. I feel 100% so proud of myself and so proud of the... and so proud of the country that I represented. But this year, a silent killer has taken that away. It's like the war. We've got to fight this virus and then we've got to turn around and, and restart again. This year, instead of gathering here at the War Memorial, we're being asked to hold a candle at the end of our driveway at 6am on the 25th, followed by a minute's silence. Max Lunt will mark the day on his daughter's driveway, lighting a candle at dawn. There will be radio broadcasts of the last post, uh, a minute silence and of course the O. The RSL and Legacy will be hosting commemorative services live on Facebook. It gives community the opportunity to be in their lounge rooms with their family, listening to some stories. As the coronavirus changes the world we know, Max Lunt says one thing will never change. We will remember them. It's very important to me to be able to celebrate a day like this for what we did for our country. Kelly Haywood, Nine News.